Chris Conlon is no stranger to mosquitoes. In this case, it looks to be like there's about maybe 50 to 75 in this particular trap. As San Diego County's supervising vector ecologist, Conlon spends hours looking at them under microscopes, identifying both adult mosquitoes and the larval stage of the bug that come in from all corners of the county. But there's one species in his lab today that besides a brief appearance in 2001, had steered clear of California. It was the result of a citizen complaint. They called us up, said, hey, we're getting bitten by mosquitoes. Um, so we went out to investigate. They, they, we put a trap out, and then we also caught a couple of mosquitoes flying around their offices. Uh, and when they were brought back to the lab for identification, we discovered that they were Asian tiger mosquito. Already in states like Florida, Georgia, and Texas, this finding may sound familiar since a relative of hers made the news last year. We have two new invasive species of mosquitoes that we're looking at, with the Asian tiger being one of those. Um, and that's the most recent find, but, but late last year we had also found yellow fever mosquito. And the two mosquitoes share very similar habits about being indoor biters during broad daylight. So we initially were thinking, oh, it's probably one of these yellow fever mosquitoes that we might find there. And unfortunately it turned out to be this other species, Asian tiger mosquito. The question that Conlon's office is trying to answer is whether or not this is a localized case, or like the yellow fever mosquito before it, the beginning of an established population in the region. We don't know yet whether it's only at that one place where it was found or whether it's gone beyond that place. So we'll set traps um, going out in concentric circles around the area to try to determine what's the spread of the problem. And it could be a problem because unlike our local mosquitoes, these ones can spread three exotic diseases dengue fever, yellow fever, and chikungunya. Those are generally the kinds of things that people pick up on their travels to more tropical type destinations. Um, and if should they come back infected and then perhaps expose themselves to the local mosquitoes while they're actively in infectious and sick, um, they, then there is that possibility that, the, that those mosquitoes could pick up the infection and then move it to somebody in the neighborhood who perhaps hadn't gone anywhere. Currently, that's not really much of a concern since the mosquito would have to be very widespread to make that a possibility. But in the meantime, Conlon could use your help keeping an eye out for these unwelcome visitors. Mosquitoes get into people's homes all the time. That, that, that's not unusual. But if people are sitting there in their homes during broad daylight and they have mosquitoes buzzing around their, their, their face trying to bite them, that's not a good sign and, and it's, it's a pretty strong indication that it may be one of these two invasive species. And so we would appreciate getting a call in that particular case. In the County News Center, I'm Dominic Fulgoni.